I moved to the United States two years ago and within the first six months of arriving to the United States or to the states where we currently live in, we bought our first home. And after approximately a year in the United States, we bought the home we are currently living in. A lot of people have asked me to share the process, what I did, how we managed to buy a home that fast. And that is why I am making this video. So this video, I have divided it into three parts. The first part is the requirement. The second part is the house hunting itself. And the third part is going to be the mistakes and the lessons that we learned in the process. So you want to make sure you watch to the very end so that you can ask your questions in the comment section and I will get back to you. Remember that this is going to be my own personal experience. This is not my field, but I will make sure to share all the details and how we managed to do that so that you yourself will know if this is something that you are interested in doing when you move to the United States or if you are already in the United States. Let's get into it. Uh, hi everyone, if you're seeing this face for the first time, my name is Linda Eze. I'm a registered nurse and I currently live and work in Texas, United States. The first one is the requirement. When we were living in the UK, so I moved from the UK to the United States. In the UK, um, you have to like save up for the next visa and the next visa. And I was almost close to the time we have to apply for the independent leave to remain. And as a family of four, you have to save at least 10,000 pounds or more for you to be able to complete that process so what we did as a family because it was really a hard decision whether to live at the point that we left like almost four years we decided to finally leave uh, the UK to go to the United States and then whatever money you have saved towards the next visa we can just use it and invest in a home and you know use it as a down payment for a home so because we already have that uh, fund already dedicated for a home so when we got to the United States we thought okay this is just like the perfect time to buy a home is exactly what we did and the reason why I'm saying that is for you to uh, to not think, okay, immediately we got to the US, we made this whole money, we did this short time and we bought the home right within six months. No, we already saved up that fund for something else and we decided to divert it for like a new home in the United States. So one of the requirements when we got here was that you need to be working already like you need to have an active job so uh, my colleagues there were always saying that as registered nurses that it's easy for them to get a job because they have like um they, they are able to get a stable job they and the payment as well they are able to easily buy a home so that was actually part of the requirement having a full-time job and actively working again you must have been working for at least two years so since i just moved to the united states i had to use my work experience outside of the united states to fulfill this requirement and luckily for me my employer in the uk they were very receptive so when we asked them for like um verification that we have been working in the uk and the tax document and everything we were able to get that. So I left my employer really good. Like I gave them the number of weeks or months that is required. And so they sent me the tax document that includes the information of like how much I was paid, um, who paid me, you know, all those tax, the tax information, they sent it to me because usually they feel like you use it for your next employment and all of that. So that was the document that I used. And then they also had to verify from my employer that I've been working for the past two years. Okay. So they sent an email, made a call to my employer and the HR, luckily for me, was able to do that in a matter of days and that was really, really cool. So that made me to have that requirement done. Second requirement is the credit score. So this is actually what made it take us that long to buy a home. So you need to have a credit score or a credit history in the United States for you to be able to get a home. So what happened is that initially when we started calling the real estate agents or people that listed those properties so um they were initially telling us that we're not qualified we just arrived in the united states we don't have any credit history and then they said they are not going to accept the credit history from the uk so because you're asking them oh i have a credit history in the uk i have a credit score in the uk they said no we can't use that we have to use the credit history for the us and all of that even though at the end of the day my colleagues that moved from the uk they said there is a way of doing that and all of that but that's not what i did so they said that we're not qualified, we need to have a credit history. So one real estate agent that we contacted was willing to 
you know, like coach us through the process. So she, she said, we are going to keep an eye on your credit score until it comes out because you can't even find like if you say, if you try to like pull our credit history and score, we don't even have any score, you know, because nothing. So they said, we are going to keep an eye because already to build a credit score in the United States, we bought a, we bought a, a car on loan and that helped and then the fact that we are employed and all of that uh, paying our dues and whatever but i feel like getting a loan that is buying a car on loan was what really really helped to uh build our credit history our credit scholars majorly they want to make sure that you're paying you're not owing your you know all the stuff okay so the the lady helped to coach us to coach us tell, told us about not making large payments not um applying for new credit cards and all of that those things will help us to have you know a good score so that we'll be able to qualify for the loans okay the mortgage loans the next part was now for us to find a mortgage lender okay so the lender is the one that will now lend you the, the, the money that you used to buy the home right so because this lady that coached us for the uh, credit score was not responding she became like you know the communication wasn't that good anymore so we visited one physically went to a, a, a mortgage office or something like that we met with a lender there and she was now the one that explained the whole process for us you know advised us we told we are new buyers we are not just new buyers but we are new in the united states and she you know helped us verified everything for her, everything like they verified everything okay and then they uh she now coached us on the best route to go told us that it is okay to buy even with that interest rate because at some point we'll be able to refinance remember i'll still tell you everything that we learned in the process that we are able to refinance and also encouraged us to go to like not to go to mansions even if we have the money but like buy homes like starter homes that we can use to build like uh, equity and then within a short year it will give us experience help us to understand the market and help us to understand what it's like to own a home and then you know in a few years we can sell it and then use the equity in the home and then buy our dream home so we thought that was an excellent um, coaching or excellent advice from her so from the mortgage lender we also learned that there are so many like there are types of um, loans mortgage loans we have like the FHA loans that is sponsored by the government we have the conventional loans and you have other loans like the VA loans USDA loans and all of that but conventional loans you need a higher um, uh, down payment and for the FHA loans you have it you, you can even buy with a uh, 3.5 percent you know down payment so and maybe and then they also have like down payment assistance there are so many you know so many ways to come up with the down payment like there are so many times so she explained all of that for us so the next one now is that she connected us with a real estate agent this person's job is to help with the job hunt, with the house hunting so you can you know help you to look through the homes that are available and when they are looking for the homes they are also checking whether that home is going to be you know is restricted like maybe if you are if you decided to use the fha loan which is sponsored by the government or the conventional loan some homes we say well we don't accept fha um, loans some homes we say oh it's only conventional and all of that so this person the lesson agent will help to navigate all of that and also give us information about whether it's in the flood zone whether it's not in the flood zone all of that so this person we were newbies so so many of those steps were very very new to us so she he helped us to like see different homes and within a weekend we already found a home that we like because so many homes were in the market the kind of home we wanted that is within the budget that we also want all of that was actually lined up and Another thing that we were considering when we were looking for the home directly was what we now be each time we find a home, like what is going to be our monthly payment. So there are other things that go, that go into it. When you eventually find a home, they have a closing process. They have to inspect the home. They have to make sure that background is good. They will do a credit check again, last credit check. That's the time they will check again if you are applying for um if you apply for other credit cards, if you are still employed. So all those things. Oh my goodness! They told us to bring that bring that bring that a lot of things was like oh my god this as uh, like they will call me send me text message can you give us a driver's license can you give us a permanent residency card can you do so many of those requirements they kept asking we kept providing they want to talk to employer in the uk oh my goodness but at the end of the day they got everything that they needed and it was like finally so but wow the paperwork was like next level like next is now the lessons that i will that we learned in the process so the lesson number one is that it is possible to buy a home in the united states in that short uh, time the reason why i take it as the lesson number one is because when i was still in the uk i had a colleague that left and moved to the texas and within 
two years or something like that he bought a home and he posted it on facebook and everything i was like wow that is really cool so at the time we moved to the united states that first month that they were telling us oh we are not qualified and everything i called him because i thought it was like i didn't know the time frame they bought but i know that he bought a home pretty quick so i called him and how did he say oh you need to have experience at least one year or so before you can even qualify to buy a home in texas so lesson number one is that sometimes it's best to listen to the experts in the field than colleagues. It's good to listen to colleagues, like even what I'm telling you, but if you want to buy a home and fast, instead of relying on this requirement that I'm giving you, instead of require, you know, relying on all this that I'm giving you, or you know what friends are saying, or what this person is saying, go to a professional. They are more able to give you the expert's advice in terms of the kind of loan, in terms of whether you're qualified, because I believe that it depends on you as an individual. I moved from the UK. You may move to the United States from another country so going to a professional mortgage lender going into their office contacting them on phone asking specific questions like the requirement what is the requirement what is the credit score all those things ask them they are able to coach you more than people like around that will just say from their own experience because their experience will be different their qualification everything might be different from yours second lesson is you have to like cut your coat according to your size so because the, like we were lucky to find someone that was able to coach us through the process and everything we didn't go to all this mansion all this like big dream like people like to buy big big homes here and they will now work tirelessly to pay that pay for that home so we went for the home that very nice and if you see like any home you buy for some reason the space is some this very good there will be like large garden the, the 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 rooms are spacious like where i'm making this video is like a like the rooms that we stayed in the uk can't even compare to this and it's just a home office like a home office this place i am in a spacious and it still has a closet a tiny closet but the space is there okay so why would you like as a starter why would you want to go buy mansions like that and then you walk your way like as if it's only work you're going to do so some people what they do is that they would they would say what well, they, they are saving up for mansions and then even to the place they are renting they are paying as much as we are paying so it depends on your preference and all of that but we thought that having a home will actually give us the flexibility and we were dreaming of a place that will have very good space that are secure for the kids to run around we don't have to go to the park for them to be able to like run around around like outside so that some of those things were our motivation to go for a home but, we were able to buy a home that we can afford, like stress-free. We don't need to take additional jobs to be able to pay the mortgage. But we did make mistakes as new people in the field. We made lots of mistakes. Mistake number one is that when we got to that particular community that we were in, when we got to Texas, we were thinking we are going to spend so much time there. We didn't consider that it's a, con a contract job. How about if we don't like that place and we decide to move? Is this really the place that we want to like live for a while? Even though the, the reason for that first home was just to have it for a while and then buy maybe a, a bigger home or something like that. So all those things we didn't put in consideration. So immediately we bought that home like six months later or so, we decided that that's not the best place there were st work stressors and everything and then we were we found ourselves starting to look for job actively outside of that place used to be so eventually got a, a job that we really like got a job that i really like and then moving was not difficult how are we going to sell this home we just bought this home it has not you know appreciated the way we were co we were coached what are we going to do and then there were suggestions about my colleague nurses that already have homes in that area they rented it out and eventually we spoke to uh, the um, a rental manager or whatever to see if they can rent it out and we noticed that the rent in that in that area we know we just be at the you know at the at the tip or maybe equivalent to the mortgage but then we have to pay the managers right and at the end of the day that means the we, like we not the rent will not be able to whatever we make in the in the home will not be able to pay the mortgage and our intention is that we definitely don't want to go back to apartment we want to buy another home so it was really hard when i would have just waited right you know 
even though it's felt really nice to buy it that far but would have just waited to see that community to know whether that is really what we want give wow. ourselves more time and all of that so that is one of the mistakes that i feel we made another mistake that i, I would say that we may have made was to you know rely heavily on the advice of both the real estate and the mortgage lender we would have thought about it in more like other perspective like um i would just say basically based on like what if it becomes an investment what if it is uh, you know like the kind of home that the next person will want to buy so what is the the kind of home that people are looking for now like that's the i think that's the two biggest mistakes that we made but those i say they are all lessons and they actually helped us to buy the home we're living in right now so as a recap the first one the requirement you need a credit history you need to be actively working and it's advisable that you don't go to get more credit cards during the process that you want to buy a new home and to have a credit history is good to have like maybe you buy a, a car on on loan or something else on loan that will show that you are paying and all of that that will just help you to develop that credit history so having a credit card helps and having another uh, like a loan also helps you have a permanent residency that helps as well active work uh, if you're working full-time actively that helps as well and other requirement that they might be requiring from you like your tax records for the previous years that you have been working and then your driver's license and then if you have a spouse they also need this the documents of your spouse as well driver's license uh, permanent residency card and all of those good stuff so and then the job hunting the um, house hunting the the real estate agents will help you to locate the home of your choice and the best thing for this is to buy a home that you can pay for you know, you know without stressing about it that you don't have to, like take additional jobs and all of that to be able to pay something that you can pay with your income and will be very very easy for you so that you can do other things okay with your life and again if buying a home that if you decide to rent it out it will be profitable at least that is also very very valuable so the third one is the mistakes that we made the biggest mistake that we made was not like considering all the things like whether it was the best time for us to really buy whether that's the location that we want to stay for a while and all of that and again it's for not really really checking you know other things that we can do with the home so those were the mistakes that we made so i hope this video was helpful if it's we you found it helpful in any way any form please give it a thumbs up and you can share more tips if you bought home in the united states and there are other things that are missing in this video please share with us in the comment section so that we all learn together and if you're yet not subscribed to this channel please subscribe to this channel to support this channel to grow give it a thumbs up share with other immigrants so that they will also know that they have they can buy these homes you know in a shorter possible time that's what they really want and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.